Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Antimatter Dimensions, doing a minus minus video, episode 41, and it's been a couple days since last episode, I've grinded 10 billion infinities, this should be enough to beat the challenge. Notice I'm saying should, because it may not be enough, I have no idea if it's going to actually be enough, actually I, I'm using idle path because I, yeah, be Mostly because of this multiplier to infinity points that increases over this infinity. That's going to be... That, that's crucial. I need that. The goal is E1450. And with close to max replicated galaxies, I'm only going to be able to get E1290. That does not look very good. Like, that's after 10 billion infinities... That were grinded, like seriously, how, I, I'm not sure if this challenge is going to be possible. That's the thing. Like, I'll, I'll try it here, I'll probably be able, I'll probably be able, be able to get to about E1300, but then I'm going to be pretty stuck, and there's like nothing else I can do. Maybe some of the Eternity Challenge rewards have been buffed, or just something has been buffed. I need every buff I can get. I keep forgetting to go into Cancer Notation to give me... That tiny multiplier to infinity points that I desperately need. So, I'm, I'm going to try. I'm going to try, though. So, yeah. See you in a, in a long while. Okay, I have not recorded this, but it has been, like, weeks. Or not multiple weeks, but at least one week since, like, the last actual recording. I've crunched a few times, and I am... Essentially, what I'm doing I'm, is I'm abusing this multiplier... Um, yeah, it's E121 times. Let's just see how long I've actually been. I've spent five days in this infinity. Um, I don't know how many days I've spent in the... I've spent 11 days in the eternity. So, yeah, th this challenge took me an extremely long time. Yet, I can still beat it. That's the only thing I think that really matters. And also, I may get a really good reward. It's first time to mention produces eighth infinity dimensions so finally this stupid challenge can be beaten hopefully I, I i really really hope that this game will get faster i'm also gonna now specific actually i already have the yodong achievement i'm like i'm gonna specifically go for it but apparently i got it somehow i mean like one of my grinding sessions where i was just trying to grind infinity or eternity points I don't know, it just must have naturally happened, but it's actually nice to have this achievement. I guess I should probably go for 8 Nobody Time, uh, 8 Nobody Got Time for that, which is Eternity Without Buying Dimensions 1 to 7. So, okay, Auto Buyers, just disable. Uh, I guess, I guess I'll just, um, do it like this, and then, uh, I think the only Auto Buyer I can get is the 8th Dimension Auto Buyer, plus the, yeah, I'm gonna be able to Eternity just with this, so... There's another achievement row, which is nice. I mean, honestly, I need everything, everything I can to help me progress at this point because it is, it is so, it's ludicrously slow. Like, I mean, I guess this is new game minus minus, but minus 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 and minus four feel faster. So, uh, yeah, that, that, that's not a valid excuse. Um... But, yeah, I actually forgot to show you the, this achievement reward. You know, it's... Your antimatter does not reset on um, Dimension Boost and Galaxy, which can... Which essentially prevents, like, bad crunches from appearing. And it'll definitely help, like, overall. Like, I can get... I'm going to be able to get a lot of infinity points with all this. Like, maybe maybe with, maybe with the Eternity Challenge 7 reward, it's E54 8th infinity, infinity Dimensions per second, which is about... It's going to give me about, like, 55 orders of magnitude of infinity power, which is maybe pretty good. I'm not exactly sure how good it is, but it definitely seems okay. And actually, I'm getting E5600 infinity points, and I have no time studies, which is ex which is very promising. So I'm actually going to um, start getting... I feel like it's the, it may be this reward, but more likely it's probably because of another balancing update that was dropped while I was in that challenge. So yeah, I can get I can get E6000 infinity points. So it's obviously a balancing update. Like another much needed to see like 
this game is just all I'm doing is I'm just uh, paving the way for like some actual balancing. Like I get why it can be slow, but I just 11 days to complete the challenges is just not cool. Like even in new game minus minus. So I guess I'm gonna yeah 129 time theorems. I'm actually getting pretty close to getting study 181. I'm only I'm only 70 time theorems away. And actually with all this e7000 infinity points, I'm gonna be able to get probably get e40 eternity points, which gives me time dimensions are multiplied by your um, unspent time theorems. Actually, that's not very good. That's really not a lot good um, because that's yeah. I I thought I thought it was a much more powerful upgrade. That is like. It's going to give me, like, less than one order of magnitude on these multipliers. But I guess everything counts because, it's, you know, it's new game minus minus. And, yeah, new game minus minus is very slow. But anyway, I'm, I am up to E7500 infinity points. I'm, I'm now only 50 time theorems away from time study 181. I feel like I should maybe go for, like, something like Eternity Challenge 4. Like, that's what I'm thinking. Like, maybe I'll get these two time theorems. Then I'll get the E40 infinity points. Or not infinity points. I, I can't speak. Eternity points. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I don't think I can get... I guess I could try to go for E7800 infinity points. I'll, I'll get that first. But the E41 eternity points, so I can get a bunch of... I can probably get two of these multipliers. And the time dimensions are, uns, are multiplied by your unspent time theorems. Plus a bunch of these time dimension multipliers. Which will all, which will all contribute... So, let's see, I am up to 150 time theorems. I can also buy time theorems with eternity points. So, all of that is going to help a lot. So, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get E1.44 million antimatter. So, I'm just, gonna, I'm just going to eternity, and this will allow me to get 1, 2 of these upgrades. And then, time dimensions are multiplied by our unspent time theorems, plus a bunch of time dimension multipliers. So I guess having unspent time theorems will help. Also, I'm, I'm buying these extremely inefficiently. Uh, I probably shouldn't have done that, but whatever. I'll, that's how I'm doing it. I can get nine more time theorems. Doesn't really matter all that much. I think I'll just like crunch just a few more times. Actually, if, if I do this, this is a good way to um, to sort of just um, get a bunch of infinity points. And it looks like I'm, I'm going to be able to get E42 in um, eternity points. So this is definitely a success. Like, I, I, I don't even think I need to crunch. Like, I'm just going to get these eternity points because that will give me an eternity point multiplier. Plus, it'll give me a few of these upgrades here. And a few more time time theorems. And, you know, maybe I should even... Actually, I think I can get the next galaxy upgrade. Oh, yes, I can. This is going to be... The galaxy upgrades are so overpowered that yeah, they usually just break the game. Like, seriously. Okay, this is reduced the galaxy soft cap of galaxy points gain formula. So that means I'm going to get a lot of galaxy points. Yeah, E10,000, which it will massively increase. Yeah, this multiplier increased from E2.9 million to E3.6 million, which, yeah, of course, it's going to be game breaking, just like all the other galaxy upgrades. Honestly, I should probably just do like a, like something like X times last crunch of like 1E200. And just so I don't have to like click crunch and yeah, this is going to give me enough time theorems or almost enough time theorems to get me time study 181, which is the most overpowered time study of all. And, um, maybe, maybe I'll even get, I think, I think I'm going to get it in this episode considering how fast it's, um, the game's going because of, you know, the, this galaxy upgrade. There's only one more galaxy upgrade left, which is galaxy poison points boost the two times infinity points multiplier upgrades actually if i've talked to um like like the developer with uh, about this upgrade and it's it's gonna yeah it's gonna be overpowered no matter what so 198 time theorems i'm about to to get the most overpowered time study of all i'm just gonna do it like this and here we go this is the most overpowered time study you gain one percent of your infinity points gain on crunch each second it's worded weird, but I know what it does because of the vanilla game. So I'm just going to get it. Three, two, one, bam. And you may not, okay, you may not see what's happening immediately, but you'll notice that 
essentially what's happening is that I never need to crunch when I have that, that time study. I never need to actually crunch. I mean, I guess maybe because, maybe I may need to crunch because of this, but like you, you just, you can gain infinity points without needing to crunch. So you can just see like, I'm, I'm gaining all the infinity points, but I'm not big crunching at all. And yeah, that's time study 181 for you. It is, it is it's overpowered. And I can probably actually get some more time theorems and I can get all the way up to E50 eternity points. And look at this. I can go all the way up to E9700 like immediately, which is insane. I also I can also get this, which is a little better than that, but still not very good. It's mostly these, in, these eternity point things because yeah, those help a lot. And yeah, it's actually not all that useful to crunch anymore. I mean, I guess with the active, like with um, this upgrade, it's it may be useful. Also, I just noticed, why is this up? Okay, yeah, it's a visual bug that says these are off, but they're actually on. So, uh, yeah, I can probably also, at this point, I'm just going to click max all. And uh, just get all of these time theorems. Go up all the way up to E55 eternity points. Grab all these. Um, probably try to grab um, a, another bunch of time theorems. And, yeah, this is... It's pretty overpowered, like I'm not even beating any of the Eternity challenges, and yet I'm, I, yeah, I, I'm just getting so far. Like this, like I really, I mean, although it's fast, I, like, okay, now this is like, yeah, New Game Minus Minus is just either extremely slow or extremely fast, and I actually really don't like it. I really don't like how, like, none of the balancing is based on, like, the, the actual, also look, E ten thousand infinity points, but I don't like that the balancing of new game minus minus is not based on the eternity challenges. The eternity challenges have almost no effect on the balancing, which I really don't like. Like I, I feel I feel like it should be sort of like the vanilla game with the eternity challenges, except you also have the galaxy upgrades that will give you more nice boosts. But here it's just like um, galaxy upgrade, just um, weak weeks long grind like multiple weeks long grind to the next galaxy upgrade and then once you get the galaxy upgrade it's just going to be so overpowered that you'll just like fly by and you'll get like 20 plus orders of magnitude of eternity points every galaxy upgrade and yeah it's just, it's just really strange balancing really really strange but i i feel like with all of these new op boosts I will be able to beat a lot more of the eternity challenges. So I'm probably going to start doing, I'm, I'll probably do a spree of eternity challenges next episode. They're probably going to be pretty easy, honestly. Like also I'm just going to check like how many, like I can get 10,000 dimension boosts, which means that if I do crunch, because I will need to crunch for infinity stats, um, that means each crunch will give 2.5 million Infinities. That is 500,000 infinities per second, which is pretty insane for like, in, for a perspective of infinity grinding. Like at least at this point, like this makes it only take 200 seconds to reach 100 million infinities. 200 seconds is like a little over three minutes. So I mean, I guess it won't be as fast if I have to like, use a build for, you know, Eternity Challenge 4, but it still will take less than five minutes, and, like, this requirement goes up as, um, I, I get more completions of this challenge, but it will take no more than 15 minutes, and, really, even, like, an hour of Infinity Grinding is not a lot. Um, like, that's sort of like what you see in the, in the vanilla game, where you see, like one to two hours, but in New Game Minus Minus, it's not a lot if it's not t if it's taking less than a day. So, uh, yeah. But anyways, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.